A Rogers man is now behind bars for allegedly kidnapping a 16 year old boy from Mississippi. Five News reporter Jacob Luthi found out more about the arrest and the multi agency effort it took to solve this case. Developed the information that uh, uh, Caleb James Kennedy had driven down and um, met him, lured him online, and then met him in the subdivision and then absconded from that subdivision with him. On Monday, Arkansas State Police say they arrested 33 year old Caleb Kennedy from Rogers on a warrant alleging Kennedy had kidnapped and lured a 16 year old boy from Brandon, Mississippi. With the help of Mississippi Attorney General's Office Cyber Crimes Task Force, Rankin County Sheriff's Office says it identified Kennedy after searching the alleged victim's devices. The initial location that, that, that we gave them as far as uh, Mr. Kennedy's uh, last known residence uh, proved to be uh, invalid. He had moved from that location, uh, but they uh, they quickly worked to deduce his location. Tyler Burnell with the Rankin County Sheriff's Office in Mississippi says preliminary investigations show the two were communicating through Reddit. That they had had somewhat of an extensive conversation online only uh, that they had um, been chatting about different things and um, had agreed to meet in the subdivision and then um, he apparently left out of his window according to the chat and then um, met down the road from his residence and then um, he was um, later recovered in Arkansas. State police say the alleged victim was found physically unharmed at Kennedy's home in Rogers. And while Kennedy is being held at the Benton County Detention Center, Burnell says the investigation continues. Uh, the Office of Homeland Security right now is uh, is trying to work with us to make sure that there are no other victims. Uh, we have um, uh, Mr. Kennedy's, one of Mr. Kennedy's devices, and I'm think the Arkansas State Police have some of the others. Uh, there will be search warrants executed on those devices and forensic extractions done to make sure that uh, that there are no other victims out there. Covering news where you live, Jacob Luthi, 5 News. Kennedy is being held in Benton County until an extradition hearing is set.